don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers at notification gang, rice gang, closing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Let the Desi spray. If you're going to get a sweater, get two because your bitch going to take one anyway. Every single one of y'all out there, I appreciate y'all watching this content on the way to 68,000 subscribers. I'm just going to keep this thing moving. But yo, I want to talk to y'all real quick. Hitman Holla, who has been in the news, you know what I'm saying? He did John John's All of the Above podcast last night. And if you want to hear all of his thoughts and his perspective about battling against Cassidy, about the other names that he could have battled, about the Geechee Gotti battle. Yo, you need to watch the podcast. I don't want to take no clips from it, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to go over there and peep John John's podcast because he has everything that you want to hear from Hitman in regards to it. But you know what I'm saying? I got a couple cliff notes, you know what I'm saying? And things that he said was uh, he tweeted... No one called me for Geechee. He battles six times a week, which ruins the shock factor for announcing that. He running out of battles that matter and think I'm going to just jump outside when he says I'm outside and tell him the line around the block. Cass equals bigger bag, bigger bag, bigger battle. He says, to be honest, it's a lot of pressure on me. That's why I took the battle. I can't let him win a round. Got to smoke him like no one on camera has did. I got to be the first to really kill him. Battle rap body type. So I'm excited for that challenge. He said, this nigga said nobody booking Hitman. Holla, smack want to book him. That's why he's on RBE. He said that big head ass Cassidy. He's saying he's basically saying the big ass Cassidy is his biggest battle. He said battle rap is funny as hell. He said, um, um, basically Hitman's talking his shit saying that when people are going with the notion that nobody wants to book Hitman, He's like, the Cassidy battle is his biggest bag yet. And then Geechee did respond with a quick response saying that, yo, go get your bag, but when you're done with that bag, I got a bag for you. Zoop, like, zoop, I got a bag for you. And um, Hitman's very in tune with the battle rap culture. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about uh, the rookies. He basically said that, you know, who gave these niggas permission to talk about the veterans the way they do, you know what I'm saying? Like they've been rapping in a room with three people in there and they feel like they could talk about people who's battled in front of 2,000, you know what I'm saying? Like they battled in front of 2,000 people. They've had big stage events. They've proven themselves on the highest level. And he's saying he's all about, you know, the competition. He's like, yo, these guys are not even, they don't even have standout performances that make me be like, yo, he could, he could stand with me or he could stand next to me. He's like, yo, that shit is not even happening with these guys. And like I said, when it came to the rookies, a lot of them, some of them had good approaches. A lot of them didn't really have good approaches at times, the way they were carrying it, like, yo, F the vets, but you're not having performances that are better than the vets, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, if you're not having a performance that's better than me, but you're saying, fuck me, it's like, hey, hey, it kind of doesn't really even out. But he did talk about some of the other battles that he was offered, you know what I'm saying? He was basically saying he was offered uh, Briz Rothstein and, you know, Briz is not quite ready to come back or whatever, but I'm at this point where it's like, if Briz is going to come back, he's going to come back. If he's not, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I think Briz jumped online and he tweeted earlier, uh, so what did he say? He liked to promote, you know, give him some promotion. What Briz say? Briz said some shit like, from now on, if y'all don't like a nigga battle announcement, just blame me. I'll be free. Keep my name in them blogs too. Private lecture EP out now everywhere. Put that in your blog. I'm better than all of you niggas. Now the EP is actually pretty dope. Private lecture joint. I'm gonna put this in my blog. You know what I'm saying? He said he asked, he asked for this. So I give you that look, Briz Rothstein. But uh, if you're not gonna come back to battle rap, just say you're not gonna come back to battle rap. We sick of wasting time because your partner T-Top is battling with another nigga. 
he's battling with New Jersey twerk against the same niggas that y'all had it yeah had it in with. So quite obviously, it don't matter to him. If it don't matter to him, it shouldn't matter to you. Because when you come back, you're gonna stand in front of a round. Niggas is gonna talk crazy about you. It's gonna be all in the blogs. You're gonna get a, uh, I'm really tried with this nigga. Your seatbelt ain't on because you don't ride with your niggas. You're gonna get around like that. And you should take it in the caffeine room because the shit is smaller anyway. Get the motherfucking round out the way. Take the round and then move on. You'll be fine. But if you wait till big crowds come back, if you ever do come back, you're gonna take that shit in front of a thousand people. But anyway, back to Hitman Holler. He says he was offered uh, Briz, Briz, Monkey the Round with the Battle, the shit didn't happen. He said he was offered uh, Goods Part 2. He said that nobody's really asking, but I'm so glad. I fuck with Hitman, I fuck with Goods. I ain't wanna see Hitman vs. Goods Part 2. They already leave it out your hands, bro. Leave it out your hands, bro. Leave. I didn't wanna see that shit again. I'm good on that. Um, he said he was offered Ill Will. He did have an interesting perspective on the Ill Will battle. He said the bag would have been the same, but to face a killer like Ill Will, because Ill Will is a killer. I'm glad you know that Ill Will is a fucking killer. So to face a killer like Ill Will, is, the risk is bigger than the reward. And you know, some people would say ducking and shit like that, but I don't call it that, I call it smart, because to battle a nigga like Ill Will, whew, Ill Will's gonna try to knock your fucking head off. So I, 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 I don't know. I don't blame him for not taking the ill will. And plus, Ill, he did get to have a good part about that, but ill will don't really promote like that. He's like, yo, ill will don't promote. So now I'm bringing my platform to him to basically boost his profile, but ill will don't promote. Ill will ain't gonna make the battle no bigger than it is. It's gonna be basically what it is. He's saying that with, if a battle with Cassidy, you get all of Cassidy's promotion, all of Cassidy's hype, even though Cassidy don't fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like he, we all know with the raps and shit, he ain't really like that. And I, like I said, I, I, I want, I'm gonna do it a little different this time around with the Cassidy shit, you know what I'm saying? I know in the past I've been like, you know, real, real, real reckless, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when it comes to Cassidy and how he gives it up. But I, I, I'll give him an honest shot in this one. I don't think he's gonna win. Uh, I don't think that he can get by a Hitman Holler because uh, Hitman Holler is better or has a bigger profile and is a better battle rapper than and everybody that Cass has battled. And Cass is not even beating the niggas that's in front of him. He didn't beat Goods. He didn't beat Arsenal. And and Hitman is above all of them. So how could I, how could I uh, give you a chance to win in what's going to be your toughest battle yet? Uh, RBE needs to just go ahead and announce the rest of the card. Uh, you guys came out with one announcement. URL comes out with a whole fucking card. Like they, and this is clearly... Ain't no love lost, and they're going to continue to do what they do. But you might as well just come on out. Just announce the rest of the goddamn card because uh, this whole way in for one announcement, way in for one announcement, that, that shit is going to take too long, my nigga. You might as well just drop the whole motherfucking card. Y'all niggas came with Cassidy. You niggas came with Murder Moot. Niggas said, fuck it. Boom. Moot versus Twerk and T-Top. What? Niggas trying to dead all your promotion out here, B. Go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. Um, but yeah, all of the above podcasts, John John the Don basically outlined, he had Hitman talk about just basically everything pertaining to battle rap, uh, whether it's his bag, not how much he's getting, but he's saying for the Cassidy joint, he got paid. I know he got paid a pretty penny. These niggas was burning money to book this battle. So it's one of those things where it's a, a huge risk with a huge reward because this shit could either fall flat and niggas will be looking at the battle like, what the fuck? Or it could potentially be something that, you know, niggas is going gonna, is gonna to rock with. But it's just when it comes to Kaz, he hasn't shown the media or niggas who rock with the battle. He hasn't shown people anything that makes you feel like, and I feel like, he hasn't shown anybody anything that makes you feel like he's going to do anything different than what he's done in the last battles. And that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has not shown in from disaster to goods to arsenal. I haven't seen any, any even a window of material that's like, if he does everything just like this, it's going to be better. That ain't happened yet. So since that has not happened yet, who knows? I've seen stranger things in life. Nothing is impossible. But from the outside looking in from the offset, offset, it, it just looks like it's going to be a, a Hitman Holler. But for Hitman Holler, 
He cannot have a debatable with Cassidy. This cannot be debatable in any way, shape, or form. Cassidy cannot get around. If he gets around, if he almost gets around, if he gets half around, if he even gets a good set of eight to ten bars off on you, his fan base is so big that it's going to fucking over-encompass what Hitman Holla has going on. And you don't want to make it debatable because a debatable with Cassidy is a loss to Cassidy. I'm sorry. Big profile. Big name. Big stars as far as like the the music shit and battle rap shit, but uh, you can't you can't be having um nothing close with him. So other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. I appreciate y'all watching all the content. I told myself I would up the level of content and get more blogs out because in February it wasn't really that fast because there was no event. You know, Kings vs Queens got pushed back and shit like that. But you know, we we working and working. Other than that, you already know what it is. Salute to every single one of y'all watching the motherfucking content. I was born, it's gonna make